tough one for Marquette to swallow, but no time to hang your heads. Trailing by six. Taryn Cloth to serve. Middle, Rosenthal. Contact on the net, on the Creighton side. Marquette gets the tally. 13-8. Creighton leads. Kastrup comes in for Marquette and Sarah Rose to serve for the Golden Eagles. They need five unanswered to draw even here. Rose with a shot to Witt. That goes Pimpy. Wow. Rosenthal lurking, trolling, actually. And Hawk as well. Great timing. Look at Hawk elevating. I mean, Hawk is seven inches shorter than Rosenthal on paper, but she got up to Rosenthal's height on that block. You'd never know it. Throws a piano. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. He just wins because now championship point arrives for the three-time defending champions. Ballinger will try to end it. Hawk. Dimke to Winters. Rosenthal. It goes OB, Marquette's the last life. But now no wiggle room whatsoever for the Golden Eagles. They need four unanswered to force the issue here in set number five. You just have to get the serve over. Hawk will deliver. There's one. Make it hard on Creighton to get this last point. Continue to put pressure on them in that serve. And checking with the bench. Winters. Hawk will retrieve. Barber slams into the net. And it's over. Blue Jays again. We'll win it. Hold on a second. Yeah, green card. Hang on. I had my call all set and <laughs> slam on the brakes. Ryan Tice. It was a big slam on the brakes there because everything got quiet. Yeah. Ryan Tice came over immediately and talked with Jim Kuzala. Pulled out the green card. He wants a challenge. Now Barber on her follow through crashed into the net. But there was their net contact on the other side by right. Creighton first. That, that's got to be the only hope here for Ryan Tice. Well, and why not use it? You have it left. Because Wilkinson has been in the net a lot. Now that was on Barber on the follow through and yep. looked like no touch on the Creighton side. One more look, watch the Creighton players. Yep, that's Bar all Barber. Yep, and in a moment, the Blue Jays will be able to officially celebrate. Yep. Beating this Creighton team once this year, they'll push them to the limit. Here's the official ruling. Replay. Replay. Wow. <laughs> Still life for our cat. Where did that come from? Very, very smart by Coach Tice. That's why that coaching staff was all Big East coaching staff of the year. Dimpy to Winter. Now it's over. Any green cards in the house? I don't see any. Creighton wins the Big East tournament title. This is a recording. Back to back to back to back. Four in a row. The dynasty continues to build in Omaha. Michelle? 
They played some volleyball here at the Alpha, didn't they? They did. Both teams very scrappy at times, but great. I think just had a little bit more in their tanks. They out-hustled Marquette, put a lot of pressure on them at the net to take very uncharacteristic swings and forced Marquette to hit a very low attacking percentage. Here in the Al McGuire Center, after a dramatic five-set match, the Creighton Blue Jays capturing their fourth straight Big East Tournament title. I'm here with head coach Kirsten Bernthal Booth. Coach Booth, the one word that comes to mind is outlast. It seems like you had just a little bit more energy than Marquette. Where did you find that extra bit to push you across? Well, you know, a fifth game can go either way, and some things went our way, and we, you know, had, you know, we got an ace early and some of those things, but. You know, it was such a great match. You know, Marquette rolled us early in the year. We rolled them. And, you know, Ryan and I, their coach, you know, we wanted this to be both teams playing at a high level. And I think that happened today. And, and I think it's a great showcase of the level of play in the Big East. And hopefully, you know, both Marquette and Creighton can do some uh, good things next week in the NCAA tournament. You guys had a lot of balance in your attack today. Five or six players with double-digit kills. What can you say about Lydia Dimke distributing the ball? Do you think she did a good job of it? Yeah, she did a great job, and that's what we kind of hang our hat on, that you can't prepare for a player because if you prepare for one player, someone else can step up. And so it was great. You know, Meg Bow, you know, kind of second half of the game kind of took over a little bit. And, you know, Taryn and, and Jaylee had been carrying, and then Marissa had her stretch. So it's great to see different players step up. Um, as teams start to game plan on one player, we have other people we can distribute to. And finally, I know you didn't get to do your customary ice cream run after last year's Big East tournament. Do you have anything planned for this time around? They have 10 minutes to shower, and then we got to catch a flight, to be honest. That's what we've told them. They have to give hugs. and So I don't know if we'll get ice cream, but uh, maybe we'll get it tomorrow at the selection show. All right. Well, Coach Booth, I will let you catch your flight. Congratulations. Here with Creighton starting setter Lydia Dimke, who was all over the court today. It seems like you had some kills, some assists, some digs. How are you in so many different places at the same time? Yeah, you'd think there's two of me. Um, no, I just do whatever I can. You know, we have such great hitters, such great passers. I know that the passers are going to get the ball up and the hitters are going to put it down. So I just got to do what I got to do in order for them to go. It seems like different attackers were on at different times. How did you determine who needed to get the ball and how did you find them? Because it wasn't just setting up to Jaylee winners or one attacker like against maybe some other opponent. Yeah, I think Marquette is a great team. They have great blockers and they have great defenders. So it was really a challenge for us to find open spaces on the court. You know, there weren't many. So um, I think a lot of times they would be camping on one hitter for good measure. And so we would just find someone else. That's the great thing about having such good parity. And finally, what are you doing to celebrate? Uh, we are catching a flight and going home to sleep and watching the selection show tomorrow. So we're excited. Sounds pretty good to me. Lydia, congratulations. Thank you so much.